Hi, I thought I'd take a moment to introduce myself and little Cosmo and tell you a little bit about um, how Voyages of Cosmo came to be. So um, when I was in college in um, Oklahoma, University of Central Oklahoma, I got a job as a waitress at a retirement community um, because, you know, needed a job that was available. And I absolutely fell in love with working with old people, with seniors. And I went to my advisor and I said, um, you know, what can I do to, to work with old people? Like, what are some of the um, career paths? And she told me about gerontology, which is um, sort of a social services focus on the study of aging um, versus a healthcare um, path. At the time, I really didn't feel like I could be a nurse. Um, wasn't sure I could deal with like needles and blood and stuff like that. Um, now probably could do that just fine but um so i uh got my bachelor's in gerontology and i graduated in 2009. Um, i worked in several different areas of the healthcare field um, i started out as um, an elder care consultant at an employee assistance program then um, i worked at a, a skilled nursing facility in north carolina that had both a short-term rehab Cosmos barking at me. Short-term rehab, long-term care. Then um, when we moved back to Oklahoma, I worked as a um, admissions coordinator at an acute inpatient rehab hospital. Um, and then since 2017, I have been working for Iris Memory Care. Iris Memory Care is um, an assisted living company that operates freestanding memory care communities. So what that means is um, all of our residents on our small campuses have some form of dementia, whether that be Alzheimer's type, Lewy body, frontotemporal dementia. Sometimes we have vascular dementia from things like post-stroke. Um, and then occasionally we have some other things, but everybody um, who lives with us has some form of cognitive impairment. We started with um, a location in Edmond, Oklahoma, which is where I started and um, have since grown to six communities. We have three in Oklahoma City, one in Tulsa, and two in the Dallas area, downtown Dallas and out in Rowlett, Texas. Um, since my um, sort of beginning in uh, senior care, I have always wanted to utilize a therapy dog. Um, I had a Siberian Husky for 15 years and her name was Layla. She is the OG therapy dog. Um, she worked with me at um, the skilled nursing facility in North Carolina with residents. Um, and we went to some different family care homes and visited uh, residents in North Carolina. Um, then when we came back to Oklahoma, um, she did um, a few visits, but really didn't get back into therapy dog work uh, until we started at Iris. She would go with me um, to Iris Edmond every day. Um, and it was really, really great to see her with the residents. It was great to see her with the families. Um, I, I'll never forget there was a family whose resident was passing and um, they were doing, you know, round the clock sitting with their loved one. And she would come to my office and she'd sit down on the floor um, with Layla and she would say, I don't need to talk. And she would sit there for 10 minutes and pet Layla, close her eyes, soak in Layla's energy, and then get back and go to her room. And um, Layla loved children. Uh, she loved getting up on the bed with residents. Um, Layla was a husky, so she didn't have um, much need for training. Uh, she would never have been able to do any sort of dog sport with me. Um, but she was an incredible soul and she was happy, loved everybody. Um, and she is well known and well loved in the uh, Iris community. Uh, I'm gonna take a few moments and share some pictures and video of Layla um, and introduce Layla. And then I'll tell you a little bit about Cosmo. After Layla passed in early 2023, um, 
we had our Irish Wolfhound who is six years old. Her name is Freya. And Freya is a very gentle, sweet soul. Um, she does okay around the residence. Um, we adopted her when she was four. And, um, you know, she had never really been in a healthcare setting. Um, and I take her sometimes uh, to the buildings for short visits. Um, but one, it's just not really her jam. She hasn't been trained and socialized to do that. Um, also, she's a very big dog. She's 125 pounds and it's hard on her to um, be active and out and about all day long. Um, so she's not really a, a therapy dog in the sense that she can go with me anytime um, and she, you know, doesn't enthusiastically love it. So um, I have had a, a couple of dogs uh, throughout my adulthood, um, two of whom were very reactive, um, what I would call dogs in need of space, um, and great dogs, but just not therapy dogs. And um, I, you know, know that you can um, get amazing dogs at the shelter and get amazing dogs at rescue. Um, have done that, will do that again. Um, I, however, wanted to um, get a very well-bred dog with a specific breed that I knew from day one would reliably be a therapy dog. So, um, you know, I've always been a dog lover. Uh, I knew that I was really interested in probably a Labrador or a Golden Retriever. Um, just happy, reliable dogs. Um, one of the owners of Iris loves dogs and he likened a Labrador to a Toyota. Not a Ferrari, not uh, anything flashy, but reliable. Um, just a solid breed. Uh, researched several breeders and uh, came across Karemi, K-A-R-E-M-Y, uh, Labradors out of Salem Springs, Arkansas. Shout out to Kathy Jackson and her family, who has an incredible program. She's been breeding Labradors uh, for over 20 years, and um, her labs are just solid. They are um, bred really great to the breed standard. Their confirmation is really good. You know, labs can get... Um, fat <laughs> and unhealthy. Some lines I've seen, I'm um, just like, oh. Um, and I also didn't want a, um, a lab that was really a sporting um, bird dog had been bred to have high drive. Um, I wanted sort of a middle of the road Labrador, someone that was um, gregarious, willing to see new people. Um, and, you know, if they're able to do dog sports, um, like agility or maybe even dock diving or something, I don't know. We'll see what those adventures come to be. Um, but primarily a therapy dog and a family pet. And um, so we um, settled on Karami Labs and have been absolutely just thrilled. Um, Cosmo uh, came home in February of 2024. And from the very beginning, he is just confident, calm, happy, eager to train. Um, his impulse and control is amazing. Um, he has just the best disposition. Um, and I am just thrilled. And I cannot wait to see him um, throughout his therapy dog journey. And I'm really glad that you have found us and that you're um, gonna follow along.